Thank you, Cyril, for this uh, introduction. So the, the subject of this uh, presentation is mainly how we go from uh, MBAC activities done in, uh, in Katimajit at upstream layers to uh, MBD disciplines done in the platform and in the, the Kati application like uh, electrical, schematic, mechanical, related to uh, what we call the model-based design. So let's go for the menu. Uh, we will start the presentation by talking about uh, what we call the collaborative MBAC with the 3D experience platform. Then we go into the case study, I mean the demonstrations, starting from a conceptual electrical vehicles and how we go with Katia Magic and the platform until one of the solutions, one of the components of the solutions, uh, which, is the, uh, which is the battery. And we will finish uh, our session with some key takeaways. Let's start. Uh, so an important subject in system engineering is to define how we go from one level of abstractions to the other. That is to say, decomposing the complexity, decomposing the complexity, refining the needs into solutions from system to subsystems until what we call the detailed design layer, uh, which is related in general to disciplines. Another subject of matter is how a discipline expert will collaborate. I mean, how the safety engineer will collaborate with the mechanical engineer, how the electrical and electronics specialist will collaborate with the software and hardware developer. We have one answer at Dassault System. This is by using a platform, the 3D experience platform. So what should we do if we want to develop uh, such complex product? <clears throat> we have tools, we have processes, but maybe more important, we should have a methodology. Uh, we should even follow a methodology than a process uh, to develop uh, this nowadays product that we call a uh, cyber physical system. So we are lucky in DASO system because we have a methodology and this methodology is called the magic grid. It's coming from the Katia magic team. And this methodology has been extended to take into consideration uh, the model-based design aspect, the governance aspect, and the VNV, the verification and validation. This methodology is called now the cyber magic grid. The difference that we have is mainly uh, at the discipline-specific architecture layers, the implementation layers, the governance, and the VNV. This is really where we see the addition between the magic green and the cyber magic green. So what we should we do? We should use a methodology, but in general, uh, we have very complex system to develop. So we need to reduce the complexity. We need to decompose the system into smaller problems. Uh, we need to apply the methodology at level L1 finding the solutions and these solutions will become the problem to solve at level l2 l3 and so on so it means the methodology is somehow applied in a recursive manner to really reduce the complexity of the of these complex systems so the cyber magic grid at a glance very quickly uh, so the first layer which is called the, the, the problem layer it is it is where we need to understand clearly the problem clearly the problem to solve. I mean, the problem, the, the product to design before jumping into the solutions. We are all engineers. Uh, we have the bad habits to go fast and deep in the details. But before, we need to understand the problem, better understand the problems. It means decomposing the systems into subsystems to manage the complexity in smaller systems. Uh, we need to specify also the interfaces in the behavior. I mean, the requirements and the models. And at some point of time, we will take some, some decisions uh, because the complexity will be enough reduced. So we'll take some decisions like this system, should we buy it? This module, should, be, should we buy it? Should we reuse it? Or uh, this component, should we reuse it? Uh, we have also the aspect of the uh, integrations to take into account, to take into consideration. I mean, the VNV, where we need to integrate the different components of our subsystems. We need to validate and verify the complete subsystems, the complete subsystem or systems against its specification. So how do we manage all this activity, all this verification and validation activity, the test specification, the test plan, the test scheduling, the test execution, the test results? It's really a governance topic. Okay, it's really a platform topic. It's where 
really where we see the additions uh, of the 3D experience platform. So there is also the topic of the change management, the configuration management, the viability, the traceability, the impact analysis. Uh, and it's where we connect the dots between Katia Magic and, and, and the platform. It's really at this uh, governance, uh, governance layer. So now let's see where we position the MBAC, the model-based system engineering. In general, we have the problem domain and we have a first level of solution, which is called a cross-discipline architecture solutions. It is the frontier where all the MBAC activities will stop. I mean, it is where all the CSML uh, modeling will stop here. If we uh, look into where to position MBAC, it's where. Then it comes to the discipline-oriented architecture. It is where the model-based design will start. When we deep dive in the discipline, it's where we start the activities related to uh, model-based design for the 3 dx the electronic, uh, the software, the hardware, and the, the mechanical engineering. So the question is how we go from one layer to the other, how we connect the dots, how we go from model-based system engineering to model-based design. Okay, so now let's jump into uh, the example and the demonstration. It is our case study, the demonstration. Uh, it is about how we go from a conceptual electrical vehicle, my problem to solve, and how the battery will be part of the solutions. So we are the level L1, the system of interest, the conceptual electrical vehicle, the problem to solve, and we apply the cyber magic grid to find a proper solutions. A part of the solutions of my conceptual electrical vehicle will be the body and trim, the chassis drivetrain, and the ADAS connectivity. ADAS and connectivity. This is the solution at this level, but the solution at L1 level is still very complex. So we need to decompose this subsystem to smaller subsystem, to smaller sub subsystem modules or components to really manage their related complexity. So the solution found at level L1 for each subsystem will become the problem to solve at level L2. So we apply again the cyber magic grid problem solutions. For some subsystems, we may be close to a final solutions final implementation, as example, the bungee and trim, we are really close to mechanical discipline, mechanical design discipline. We are clearly at the frontier of the model-based design. On the opposite, if we look to uh, body, uh, chassis and trim and uh, the ADAS and connectivity, the subsystems, we have, uh, we are still, uh, we are still have a complex uh, subsystem. So we need to decrease again their related complexity. So we apply again the cyber magic grid problem solutions going from level L2, L3, and so on. At a certain level of decompositions, we can state that we are close to a final implementation. And then we can take, we can also take some decisions. I mean, should I buy, should I make it, or should I re reuse this component, these modules? So as you imagine, the, the draft that we have on this slide is, is, a, is a very simplified view compared to the to additional. So now let's have a view on how our solutions Katia Magic and the 3D Experience Platform, we collaborate to go from the concept to the final components. So we have the conceptual electrical vehicle at level L1, so the problem to solve. Uh, we apply Katia Magic and the Cyber Magic Grid to find a first solution, a first level of solution. As part of the first level of solution, level L1, we find the electrical propulsions. We have also the platform that will enable us to manage the requirement mainly. Going to the level L2, the solutions at level L1, the problem will be the, the solution will become the problem at level L2. So from the problem at level L2, we find another solution thanks to Katia Magic and applying the Cyber Magic Grid with the platform also. And in our case, a part of the solution at level L2 will be the energy modules. So for these solutions at level L2, we will have the problem that will become the problem at level L3. So here applying again the cyber magic grid, a new project in Katia Magic, maybe some, some chat project also, we can use a chat project concept. Here the solution layer is composed of a battery modules and some power electronics. These solutions are really deep diving into the disciplines, deep diving into the expertise of the software and electrical engineer. So what will be the next step of the tooling and the tooling process? We go to dedicated solutions in the platform 
want to define the electric electrical architectures that would be the specification of the schematic designs and another one which would be more related to 3d harness and 3d mechanicals that will really where we'll, we see the implementations of one of our components that will be uh, the battery for example the question is where we do have the connections between the MBSE and the MBD. 